Hey guys, Karsh here. A super short and simple video on how to check in on the dashboard. So once you've created lists, you wanna click on the list and you'll see that this is empty right here. You can drag and drop it in an Excel file if you wanna populate the names off an Excel file or you can just hit the add profiles button and then add profiles. I have another video where I talk about how to create profiles and how to import profiles. Um, but for right now, I'm just gonna find a few names right here. So I'm gonna find a few people that I want to check in on the dashboard and then just hit the add selected also important to know that I can also create a new profile right here. So I can hit the create profile button and I can say create profile. And then that profile will be added here, okay? So as soon as that's done, the check-ins, the way to check-in is really simple. You just click on the checkbox here and then you've checked in and you got the check-in date right here. And then you, yeah, just do a few check-ins and then you can sort this data by check-in descending or by check-in ascending. And we can also click on it and we can look at all the check-in details, when the check-in check-in took place, the time and all that. And we can also undo the check-in and we can also remove people from a list. So what we'll do is we'll hit the actions button. So let's just say, for example, we checked in Brittany and we we're like, oops, we didn't mean to, like we didn't mean to check in Brittany. We can either remove Brittany from the list or we can delete the entire profile. So if we're like, hey, this is just a, you know, I created this profile, but this was incorrect. Brittany's profile is already there. I can hit the delete button and I can look at all the activities, but most, but, but most of the time you're just trying to remove that person from the list. So you just hit the remove from list and then that person's name is taken off the list. And then if you go to the list options here and hit settings, you can do checkouts as well. So we turn on checkouts and in order to do a checkout, you literally will just click on the name again and then it'll turn gray and then the checkout is done. It'll also tell you how many people are checked out right now and then it'll tell you the checkout date. And you can also adjust this manually and you can like look at, okay, well like how much time was spent and um, like how much time has elapsed. Furthermore, um, you'd be able to see much more properties down here. So you'd be able to see like, for example, where the check-in took place, what IP address it took place from, what application was it. You'd also be able to see a location and a map right here if your location is turned on and the dashboard has access to it. And then you can also leave a check-in note here as well. So like, for example, you can say, hey, for example, Caleb was late for class. And you can also leave a check-out note here as well. So pretty simple, that's basically how you do check-ins and check-outs on the dashboard.